In this video, I'll show you how to display your business hours in WordPress by using Seedprod. Seedprod is the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder with over 1 million professionals who use Seedprod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts without coding. Displaying your business hours is extremely important for small business. The local clients and customers can know exactly when you're open. To do so, we're gonna go ahead and use Seedprod Pro. So you can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And this will give you the most amount of features possible with Seedprod. Once you're here, you can go ahead and click on get seed prod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you once you have an account let's go ahead and click on login on the left hand side you can enter your email address and your password and click on login and next we want to click on the second tab here from the left called downloads we're going to download the zip file for Seedprod Pro, so we can click the orange button here to download it. And we also need the license key here in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and click the little icon here to copy that to clipboard. Great, we can go ahead and close this window now. Here I have a clean installation of WordPress and I'm logged into the admin area of WordPress. So right now we're just in the dashboard. Let's go ahead and install the Seedprod plugin. On the left-hand side, let's go to plugins and click on add new. At the top, we wanna to go to upload plugin. Let's click here. And we want to choose the file that we just downloaded from your hard drive or if you're using the same or similar browser you can click here and drag this and drop it right here next let's go ahead and click on install now and i'm going to click on activate the plugin great let's go ahead and paste that license key that we copied earlier and verify key and you should see a green success message here i'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom so seedprod is a web so Seedprod is a website builder built inside of WordPress. So here's the default installation of WordPress and the default theme that comes with WordPress. And we can instantly change this by using Seedprod. This will give us a place to add business hours. So back inside of WordPress, let's go on the left-hand side. We'll click on Theme Builder. Here we can build our website completely from scratch, or we can import one of our theme template kits. Let's go ahead and click right here. And Seedprod comes with a bunch of... And Seabred comes with some professionally designed and mobile friendly theme template kits that you can import instantly into your website. And then you're free to modify every single pixel of that theme so it's perfect for your own project. So for example, let's click garden services here. Let's go ahead and click the orange check mark. This will import all of the necessary files and templates for the garden services website. So here it'll bring us back to the theme builder page and we can see all of our pages here, such as our homepage, blog, search results and archives, single post, single page, sidebar, footer header, and our global CSS. Global CSS, if we click on edit design here, is where you would edit all of your colors, fonts, background, buttons, forms, layout, and any custom CSS that you would like to add. So for example, for the colors, if you'd like to change the buttons, you can click here and simply select a different color. You can see a preview on the right hand side. For now, I'm just gonna leave all of this alone. I'm gonna save and we'll exit. So even though we have all of these theme files in here, it's not enabled yet. We have to click the little toggle right here. You'll get a couple messages where Seedprod is going to change your settings down here. We'll just click okay, okay. And now your website is active and live on the front page. Let's go ahead to Seedprod here. I'll open this in a new window. And here you can see the template kit that was imported into your website. So this is the front page which looks great. And now you're free to modify this however you wish. So even though it was meant for a gardener website, you can change this to anything. You can change the logo, the colors and everything. As long as you like the layout, you can use that for any type of website that you like. So in this example, we have a homepage, the services, contact us, about us, testimonials and blog. A good place to add your hours could be the footer or maybe even the contact or about us page. I think we'll add it into the footer and maybe I'll replace this section right here. So let's come back into WordPress again, and down here we'll see a footer template. Let's go ahead and click on edit design. And this is a theme template, so this one piece will apply to the whole entire website. So if I change something here, it'll be updated on every single page in WordPress on our website. So here on the right hand side, it says get in touch. And then there's a little text and our social media. Let's go ahead and take the social media here. I'll drag this and put it over underneath the information. Let's go ahead and take this block, which is just a little bit of a sentence, and we'll delete this. Instead of get in touch, we can change this to hours. And I'll click up here to get back to the blocks. In the search blocks, I'll type in business. And under advanced, we have the business hours block. I'll just simply drag this and put it under our hours. Let's click on the cog wheel here for the block settings. And here you'll see all of the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way to Sunday. You can remove some of the days or add new items if you wish. So right now it's a little bit hard to see with the blue on the green. Let's come under advanced first, and then we can change the colors. So here we have the day color. Let's go ahead and just change this to white. And we have the time color, so you can actually make a different color out of the time. Maybe yellow would make sense. Just make it a little off-white. And there we go, now we can see it. We'll come back to advanced in a moment. Let's come back to content now that we can see the actual letters. I'm gonna delete Sunday. I'll open up Saturday. And let's say we are, let's say on weekends, we are closed. You can also stylize each individual one. So right here, let's say style day or time. Let's click yes. Now let's change the background color here. 
And we'll change this to, for example, a light red here. So it's almost a pink. And we'll change the colors to black or a faded gray. Great, that looks good. We can minimize this one. Now, if we come down, we can see the date font and size. Right now it's set to 12, but you can make these bigger if you like. I think 12 is fine in our case. And the time font can be different as well. So you could have the time bigger or smaller. You also have space between here. So right now it's set to six. I'm actually gonna minimize this a bit so it fits into this block a little bit better. It's a little bit more compact, so everything matches up nice. You can also align these if you wish, as well as the time. Great, if we come to the top, we actually have templates as well. So here we have three different effects. We have striped effect, divider, and background. Let's click on striped, and you can see that they alternate between the gray and a lighter gray. We also have the divider, and we also have the background template. So I actually like this one a little bit, as well as the striped. I think those both work. I'm gonna go ahead with the background template. Great, now if you wish, you can come under advanced. And we have different styles here for the topography, the time, of course the colors, the text shadow. If we open this up, we have the divider. So right now it's dashed. You can see that in between each one. We can actually change this to a solid or a dotted. I actually like the dashed. And you can turn that off completely if you wish. Down here we have day and time. And you can turn on the striped effect to combine this with the other one. I actually think that looks pretty good. You can change the colors if you wish, but I'll leave it alone. We also have spacing here. So we have a little bit of padding. Right now there's 10. So if I could change this to example five, you can see that there's a little bit less in there. Next we have the border. So the border radius, this is the corner. So you can see that it's curved here on the edges. So if we put a big one here, let's say 20, you can see that that is a large curve on the corners. I'm gonna leave it to four. I think that looks pretty good. You also have the border style. Right now there's a one pixel gray that goes all the way around. I'm actually gonna remove this so we can put zero and it's just the white background now. We also have the background color itself. You can add a gradient or you can add an image. I think the white looks fine, but if you wanted to change it, you could easily do so. And then down here we have the attributes, so you can add your own CSS custom class, or you can use this ID to connect to this element, which will allow you to add any custom CSS you like. We also have device visibility, so if you wanna hide it on desktop or hide it on mobile, for example, if we switch to mobile preview, we can see that here. And if we hide it on mobile, you can see that it gets grayed out. Then if we switch back to desktop, you can see that it's bright again. We'll uncheck this. Next, if we check hide on desktop, We'll see that it gets grayed out. I'm gonna leave these both unchecked so we can show it everywhere. Let's go ahead and save, and we'll go ahead and preview this. Great, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page here. Now you can see that our footer here that we just edited is our new business hours section. And this is just one of many, many features that makes Seedprod the absolute best page builder for WordPress. Now that you've learned the absolute best and easy way to display your business hours in WordPress by using Seedprod, why don't you check out these videos on the five best business hours plugins for WordPress to review even more, or check out this other video on the best method for tabbed content in WordPress. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.